We are constantly told by the followers of Muhammad that he was the last prophet, that no other prophet will come after him. Was Muhammad a prophet? On what basis do they form such a dogma? In the Quran, there is only one verse upon which the followers of Muhammad secure their argument above. As usual with Muhammad and Muslims, their argument is spurious, without foundation, and based on erroneous or deliberate mistranslation as, and misinterpretation of the verse. This singular verse is in chapter Al-Ahzab, 33.40. Muhammad is not the father of any of your men, but he is the apostle of Allah and the seal, Khatim, of the prophets and Nabiyina, and Allah has full knowledge of all things. In Arabic, this is read as Khatim and Nabiyina, allegedly meaning the last of the prophets. When this verse and the Ahadith stories are scrutinized, this interpretation is shown to have been purposely falsified to fit the agenda of Muhammad's followers. In Sahih al-Bukhari Hadith 4.189, narrated by Anas, when the Prophet intended to write a letter to the ruler of the Byzantines, he was told that those people did not read any letter unless it was stamped with a seal, Khatim. So the Prophet got a silver ring, as if I were just looking at its white glitter on his hand, and stabbed on it the expression, Muhammad, Apostle of Allah, Muhammad, Rasulullah. The hadith above produces two corollaries. One, Muhammad did not know about the term and or the word Khatim, which means seal of a letter, to authenticate its origin and to render it protected from tampering. It was only after this explanation that he used it in the verse above to mean that he was the authenticator of previous revelations and not as the last of the prophets. God never put a limit to his prophets since they are always required to bring back people to the path of righteousness after having strayed. The Arabic word khatim is actually derived from the original Hebrew khatima, meaning signature, inscription, or seal ring. Item two, most important of all, even Muhammad's insignia was apostle, messenger, and not prophet of Allah. In the Arabic language, there is an extremely important difference between Rasul, messenger, and Nabi, prophet, because the prophet can also be a messenger, but a messenger cannot also be a prophet. According to both the Quranic verse and the hadiths, Muhammad did not claim outright prophethood. Muhammad not only did not fit this title, but the whole of the Quran has no record of a single prophecy. Even those that were later concocted in the ahadith are proven to be untrue. Sahih al-Bukhari hadith 9.477 narrated by Masruq. Aisha, the mother of the believers, Muhammad's wife said, if anyone tells you that Muhammad has seen the unseen, the future, he is a liar. For Allah says, none has the knowledge of the unseen, the future, but Allah. The title Prophet must fit the deeds, and Muhammad was not one. Based upon all the references shown, it is clear that had Muhammad wanted to assert that he was the last of the Prophets, he would have had to use the following Arabic expression, Akhir, meaning last, Al-Nabiyuna, or Al-Anbiya neither of which are, of course, used. Muhammad's actual intent was to demonstrate that he was so much greater than all the previous prophets that he was in a position to authenticate their revelations. In similitude of a teacher authenticating or grading the level or degree of aptitude of a student's exam paper. Furthermore, the ahadith are replete with the expression Allah and his messenger, or Allah and his messenger know best. The word prophet is never used. The term khatim also appears in different forms. Chapter 2, verse 7. Khatam Allahu ala qulubihim, which is translated to Allah set a seal upon their hearts. 6.46. Khatama ala qulubikum, sealed up your hearts. 36.65. Al yawm nakhtimu ala afwahihim is. Today we put a seal on their mouths. 42.24 Allahu yakhtimu ala qalbika Allah put a seal upon your heart. 45.23 Wa khatama ala sam'ihi wa qalbihi And sealed up his heart and hearing. 46.9 Say, 
I am no bringer of new fungal doctrine among the apostles, nor do I know what will be done with me or with you. I follow but that which is revealed to me by inspiration. I am but a warner, open and clear. 83.25 Their thirst will be slaked with pure wine, sealed, rahiqin makhtumin. 83.26 The seal, khatamuhu, thereof will be musk. The term seal has had its actual meaning deliberately perverted by the Muhammadans to mean lust, for obvious theological and sectarian reasons. The fact is that the word khatim means only a seal, usually a signature ring, which authenticates a document to prove its originality. It does not mean at all that Muhammad is the last of the prophets, since if that were what the Quran wanted to impart, it would have said, there will be no other prophets after me.